Honorable Member for Papineau. Le Premier ministre a finalement annoncé au Canada ce qu'il avait dit à New York il y a maintenant plus d'une semaine. Il a l'intention de faire entrer le Canada en guerre en Irak. With this motion, the Prime Minister has finally said in Canada what he said in New York City more than a week ago. He is intent on taking Canada into war in Iraq. ISIL is a threat both to the region and to global security. ISIL murders ethnic and religious minorities across Iraq and Syria. They murder innocent civilians, humanitarian workers, and journalists. These awful acts have been documented, often by the perpetrators themselves. This is why the Liberal Party supported a 30-day non-combat role in good faith and on which we were brief. This time, instead of briefing, there has been only overheated rhetoric. Le Canada a un rôle à jouer pour répondre aux crises humanitaires et aux menaces à la sécurité de notre planète. Deuxième principe, c'est que lorsqu'un gouvernement envisage le déploiement de nos hommes et de nos femmes en uniforme, la mission et le rôle du Canada dans cette mission doivent être clairement définis. Troisième principe, que l'argumentaire pour le déploiement de nos forces soit présenté ouvertement et avec transparence sur la base de faits présentés de façon claire, fiable et rationnelle. And four, that Canada's role must reflect the broad scope of Canada's capabilities and how best we can help. Unlike the Prime Minister, Liberals believe Canada can make a more helpful contribution to the international effort to combat ISIL than a few aging warplanes. I think Canadians have a lot more to offer than that. We can be resourceful. And there are significant, substantial, non-combat roles Canada can play. And some, we can play better than many or perhaps any of our allies, whether they are strategic airlift, training or medical support. We have the capabilities to meaningfully assist in a non-combat role, a well-defined international mission. The fact remains, this Prime Minister has not been upfront with Canadians about his plans. The Premier Ministre and the Government have given us little reason to believe that our role will be limited when we are on the front. They will be able to limit our role. The overheated and moralistic rhetoric is being used to justify more than just airstrikes. It is an attempt to justify a war. For Canadians, it's all too familiar, particularly from this Prime Minister. The war in Iraq in 2003 was led by the false pretext and with erroneous information. This mission has destabilized this region of the globe, engendered other conflicts, coûté nos alliés environ 3 000 milliards de dollars et a coûté la vie à des milliers de personnes. The 2003 Iraq War was waged. 
on false pretenses and flawed intelligence, the world is still dealing with the consequences of that mistake. Let us never forget how that mission was sold to the public. En 2003, ce avait déclaré que la guerre en Irak du président Bush était une question de liberté, de démocratie et de civilisation. That's right. Our current prime minister, back in 2003, called President Bush's Iraq war a matter of freedom, democracy and civilization itself. We know the Iraq fiasco haunts the choices we have to make today, but we cannot make the wrong decision now because the wrong decision was made then. Canada has asked a lot of our men and women in uniform over the past decade, and too often they have returned home only to be let down. If we are to ask more of them now, our deliberations in this house should be honest and forthright to show ourselves worthy of the valor and strength we know our Canadian forces will always show in the field. We owe them that. We know there is a role for Canada to be involved in the fight against ISIL, but there is a clear line between non-combat and combat roles. It is much easier to cross that line than to cross back. It is always easier to get into a war than to get out of one. C'est plus facile de se lancer en guerre. Le premier ministre a la responsabilité sacrée d'être honnête et sincère envers la population, à plus forte raison lorsque des vies sont en jeu. Chaque fois que l'on décidera de prendre part à des combats, ne perdons pas de vue qu'un courageux Canadien risquera sa vie. Nous lui devons de faire preuve de clarté. Nous lui devons d'avoir un plan. The Prime Minister has a sacred responsibility to be honest and truthful with people, especially about matters of life and death. At the end of every decision to enter combat, it's a brave Canadian in harm's way. We owe them we owe them a plan. Most of all, we owe them the Prime Minister has offered none of those. The Liberal Party of Canada cannot and will not support this Prime Minister's motion to go to war in Iraq. The Parti Libéral du Canada ne peut pas appuyer et n'appuyera pas cette motion du Premier ministre d'aller en guerre en Irak.